let us see how to work on m functions in power query for date there are different categories of functions in m function we have date text numbers logical etc but here in this three videos we'll see about date functions so my request would be if you're watching this video also watch the next two videos in continuation do not watch in separate because in this three videos we'll see approximately 100 m functions total 100 in this video itself we'll see 25 functions so there's a link in this all three videos now this video is for m function date where it is shown as is in now is in means i'll be asking some questions to my data set okay let me show you that what we have i have created one excel file and the dates are there ranging from 2016 year to 2021 okay all few years i have now my question would be for this data set to check whether the date is in previous year current year or in the next year okay also i'll ask few more questions like whether the date is in previous n years like previous three years previous four years or in next two years next three years also so this few questions i'll keep on asking them before that i can just copy paste one more date here for 2022 so this is the date i have from all the dates so let's see how to write this m functions in power bi previous year current year and next year carefully observe these functions will be very very easy okay only the name is difficult m function mashup but it's very easy let's see practically name of the table here is date table okay and i'll save this file and I can close this file. I'll load that file in Power Query, get data. File number is 18, sample superstore m function. And from there, date table I'll pick up and click on transform. Now, like this, there are 25 functions we'll see in this video. Number one, now I've opened this date table and I can go to add column and click on custom column. This is the place where you write all the m functions. Okay. By the way, on the right hand side, these three steps are automatically generated. I have not written those. So I can click on custom data. Now here I can ask them a question. One shortcut trick, all the date function will start with date. So I'll type as date dot. All the text function will start with text. Okay, so I can write here as text and you can see all the text function would be there. If I write here number, all the number functions would be there. Now. I am getting some suggestions, some options at the bottom here. You might not get it. Let me zoom the screen. So if you're not getting it, there are two reasons. One is you are in the older version. You can update your Power BI version. It updates every month. The link will be in the description somewhere. Or second thing is you are in the newer version, but you have not enabled the feature. Okay, that also you can see in the description link. So these are all the functions here. So I can just delete that and write as date because I'm interested in date function. So I can write as date is in, okay. You just write continuation date is in, and I can write as P, okay. So if I write P, I'll be getting all the suggestions for previous month. If I write for C, I'll be getting all the suggestions for current month, current day, current year, etc. If I write for N, I'll be getting for next day, next month, next year, and so on. So here the first question was, I want to check whether the date is in previous year. So I'll type as date dot date is in P. Okay. So my option would be previous year. You see this option previous year. If I select open the bracket. Okay. You can just open the bracket. And if you are very new to Power BI and you don't know how to write the function, this will help you. Okay. This window will help you. It's saying what is the parameter. The parameter is required date and time. On the right hand side, I have one column and that is the column which is present here okay that's the column here so i can just double click on that order date and close the bracket that's it very simple straightforward one thing if you observe each alphabet of a letter of the word is capital first alphabet of every word is capital d capital i capital p capital y capital so this is case sensitive m language is case sensitive uh, when you finish writing, you can see there's a tick mark which will tell you that the function is correct. You can proceed. Name of the column is custom. I should give a good name as is in. I'll write a simple previous year and a question mark. Now I can click on OK. If the date is in previous year, you'll get the answer as true. Okay. Otherwise, you'll get the answer false. The day I'm recording is of June 2020. For me, the previous year today is 2019. If I open the same file next year, okay then this will become as false and 2020 that means this value will become as true okay 2020 value so this is very good way of writing the you know m functions here now this was for previous year let's see whether the date is in next year 
okay add column custom column and i can write here as date is in continuation and i'll write as next okay next you don't have to write entirely let me zoom the screen i'll type as next year okay date is in next year and carefully observe every alphabet or of first is capital first alphabet of every word open the bracket and i can double click on order date order date is actually the column whose next year i want now i can just click on ok button okay very simple ok button so if the date is in next year it will show as true otherwise false so 2021 is next year today is 2020 i'm recording so this will show as true now if you're downloading this file on your laptop next year you might get some other answer that's very simple now the last one two functions are there the question is i want to find out whether the date is in last three years okay last three years add column custom column and here i can write date is in let me zoom the screen previous okay date is in previous i want to find out previous three years so you see there's a function previous n years so i'll click on that previous n years open the bracket now obviously the first would be order date comma three three i'm telling that it should be in previous three years now i can click on ok button and you can see there will be some places where you're getting value as true okay this value is true because those are in last three years if i only want i can filter the true value okay i'll remove the false value click on okay so this data will be only for last three years imagine i'm getting data for 20 years last 20 years but my power query will automatically filter for last three years and give me charts and visuals okay automated process now after filtering what i can do is i can remove this column which is not required i can right click and remove and remove the other columns so this way you can keep on filtering and removing the columns which were not required so this would be a helper column for timing i've brought here let me delete that column i don't want to remove i don't want to filter here okay so this was for previous n years same way you can find out for next n years also okay now i'll open that excel file and show you some more functions there there are 25 functions which i said i'll be able to show you i will just highlight something so these are all the 25 functions the concept is same the writing method is also same let's see any one function from here so i've written for previous year current year next year i've written previous quarter current quarter next quarter and same way i've written everything here also i've just written the same places everywhere previous end month next end months so let me find out this one any two functions i can help you out i want to find out whether the date is in previous five quarters okay previous five quarters so i'll go back to my power query add a custom column and here i can write date is in previous five quarters so i'll write as p when you write p you'll get all the m functions for previous previous n quarters so i can write the option as quarters and open the bracket double click on order date comma five previous five quarters and click on okay same concept 25 functions you can practice click on okay and something give me a wrong answer the functions were correct but what happened is my excel file is open at the bottom so that's the reason it told me that you cannot work so i'll just close the excel file and now i can just go to home and click on refresh so this will give me the answers in true and false everywhere okay now let us see quickly i can just go to add column custom column and i would suggest you to practice all these functions only then you'll be able to is in p carefully observe pause the video for some seconds and see what are the functions are you comfortable with those functions and if i continue writing previous n you can see n days n months n quarters n weeks and n years if i write is in c so current day current month current year current quarter everything if i write is in n n stands for next next if i write n you can see all the options are there if you only want for next quarter just type next and backspace that's it next and you can see next year next quarter next week etc all this function so please practice and you'll get a good command some more functions are coming on the way in the next video so total 90 plus functions will be comfortable by these three videos okay so that's it i hope you are comfortable and able to understand date function that is easy that's all for this video